last video I did on this car, I tried the top-down approach of adding sea foam into the spark plug holes to see if it would dissolve whatever was causing the rings to stick. This time, I'm going to do it the way the sea foam can recommends by adding it to the oil and then I'm going to drive it for about 300 miles, which is the top of the recommendation, 100 to 300 miles, and see if that unsticks the piston rings. So let's get into it. The recommendation is an ounce of seafoam for every quart of oil. So I'm going to add four ounces, maybe a little more than four ounces, because this holds four quarts of oil. Half cup, four ounces. I apologize if the wind is affecting the sound. It's very windy today. I'm going to add just a touch more to make sure we didn't lose any. All right, now I'm gonna check to make sure the oil is topped off because I wouldn't want it to run low on oil and then to have to add more in the 300 miles and actually dilute the seafoam solution. That is right to the dot. Okay, let's reset the trip counter and check the regular mileage just in case we need it. All right, so I'm gonna drive this 300 miles, change the oil, and then go another 300 miles to see if we use another quart after the seafoam treatment. Hey, we're at 300 miles and still got the seafoam concoction in it so it's time to change the oil but let's go ahead and see how much oil we've used with the seafoam in it let's see here well that is actually promising it is right there you can see that so more than halfway to the top dot well, I wonder if after we change the oil, because obviously, you know, the rings could have been stuck early in the process and got unstuck, you know, say 150 miles in or so. Who knows, maybe it's using no oil now. That's it right there. All right, now we're gonna drive it another 300 miles or so, 320 some, another tank of gas or so, and see if we're still using a whole quart per tank of gas. Okay, we're about to turn over 320 miles. Oh, there it is, 320. All right, here we go, let's pull to a stop. And that is our mileage. That is our official mileage. First, let's clean off the dipstick. And I want to show you what I found with this car. Hopefully you can see this. Is this dot to this dot right there is one quart exactly for this car. It came just a hair above that top dot there. So I want to be honest, it did not come exactly to that dot. It was just a millimeter or two above that top dot. So, let's see what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. The oil is right there. So, we went from about right there to right there. That is actually a huge improvement. Let's top it off here and see exactly how much oil we used. I have exactly one quart. We'll start with that. See where we get.
That is about a half quart there. That is it. That is a hair above the top dot there. So, what does that mean? I think that means the seafoam treatment did work to an extent. And I have to consider, you know, are all the oil problems in this car caused by stuck rings? I don't know, you know, the car has almost 200,000 miles on it. So we definitely reduced the oil usage by half, which is a huge deal. Do I think the seafoam unstuck the rings? I think they did, the seafoam definitely unstuck the rings or most of the rings because I can't imagine, and maybe you can comment if there's another reason for this, I can't imagine that there's something else seafoam could have done that would make the car use less oil because seafoam cleans stuff out and it really wouldn't help plug any holes. The only way it can help plug holes is the holes around the piston rings. So when the seafoam gets into the piston rings and dissolves the gunk that's keeping them stuck to the pistons themselves and allows them to release and ride on the sides of the cylinders cleaning the oil back off and getting it back into the pan, that's the only way I could see seafoam actually benefiting an oil using car. So yes, I do think seafoam has unstuck the piston rings or at least almost completely unstuck the piston rings, in my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments. I do recommend this to anyone who has a Corolla or any kind of vehicle that might have stuck rings because obviously, you know, using half the oil you were using before is definitely an improvement. So, thanks again for watching. Y'all take care.